have you ever wanted to do Madrid in a day? Well, it's something I never thought about until the other day and we thought, well, I think it's possible. So welcome to the Plaza Mayor, welcome to Madrid. Let's start the show. This is the first time that we've flown away for just a day. Well, any day trip, of course, starts off with a good breakfast and that is what we are having at Heathrow Terminal 5. So keep an eye on the timer at the bottom of the screen to check our journey as we go through the next 24 hours. So we're on board and to save time, I decided it was best just to bring our luggage on board. However, they decided to take my very small suitcase to fit into the hold, which I'm not extremely happy about, but they promised it's going to be the first one out on the carousel. So we will see how that transpires. To save time, we are staying at a hotel at the airport. So we are going to drop off our luggage now. We're going to take a taxi from the terminal to the hotel, which is about three kilometers away. And then we'll head into the city. Well, we're about to enter the Rotero Park, which is the biggest park in Madrid. But before we do, we are at the Casa Arabi, which was originally set up as a school for impoverished children. And today it is an open space where anyone can go in and take a look around. The Arab House was set up by Lucas Agvare. Well, we're heading towards the Rotero Park and we're hoping for a little bit of shade because we have come to Madrid on one of the hottest days of the year. It's going up to, well, between 35 and 38 Celsius. Well, here in the Retiro are lots of pictures of buildings from across Spain and they are all representing um, membership of the UNESCO Heritage Buildings. Other sites as well, rocks, Ibiza, it joined in 1999. Hey, look at the geese. There's even some babies. <laughs> How adorable. Very fluffy. So are you enjoying your walk through the Rotero, Paul? Yes, it's very, very cool. <laughs> well, it's a bit cooler now because, look, we have a bit of, shade. A bit of shade here. 
So we've seen some geese. Um, now there used to be a zoo here. In fact, it was oh. the, the first the first zoo that was ever opened in Madrid. It's not here now, but there are still some some animals and and birds around. And there is a big lake in the middle. Now we haven't time to go there today, um, but. If you've got a bit of a, a longer period of time to spend in Madrid, you could come here for an entire day. But even just for an hour of your time, just to walk around, there really is so much to see. Look at the babies. There's mommy over there. Daddy's just come out. Under the bridge they go, oh wow. <laughs> Here they come. Behind me are the ruins of San Isidoro. It was a old Romanic church. So we've got our beers, we have ordered our coffees and our food, so we are having the full El Corte Inglés experience. And we are having my favourite Spanish beer, Estrella Galicia. Mm. Isn't it all the way from Barcelona? No, I don't think so. No? Stop testing me. I think I need to order another one. this coffee and I'm really glad that I ordered it right now before it's too late so enjoy the coffee everyone and it also comes with this little biscuit so I have ordered a poke bowl there is a poached egg there's onions there is what looks like spinach and also um, salmon, avocado, spring onion, I think. And there is also um, some type of rice. So I think this is a pretty nutritious meal. So let's tuck in everyone. And on the side, I have my cafe con leche. Yum, yum, yum. And I'm having a tortilla. Now, it isn't actually a traditional type of omelet. I'm having the Viovis con jamón aberico, or aberico. And what it is, it is sauteed potatoes with iberica, aberico ham, and two fried eggs. And look what's next to it. Café con leche. Delicious. So we've left Goya behind, we've had a really good lunch and we've um, just come out at the uh, Thiessen Museum and we've now got a bit of an uphill trek towards the central parts of Madrid. There's two bits of Madrid that you just cannot miss if you come here. But along the way there's other sites to see, including the Parliament building and I see a lion with a ball in front of me.
Well, Paul, you can tell you're not in England. You know why? No. Because there's one. There's two. Two lions, not three. I love the street signs in Madrid. This is Calle de Marquis de Cuba. So here we are, quite a steep gradient, walking up. But within five or ten minutes, I am assured by a local that we should arrive in the Puerto del Sol, the Sun Square. Mmm, look at all these cakes. That looks like an apple one. Wow, nougat, turon. Look at the size of those eclairs. Oh, these are like some of the pastries you get at Christmas. Oh my God, look at the size of the donuts. Wow. What are those? What are those? Oranges, naranja. Let's do some more exploring. Lots of souvenir shops from Madrid with love. Oh, what's this place? Lardy's. Lardy. <laughs> oh, it's pots and pans. Look, it's copper. I think it's like a bakery type thing. Oh, look. Traditional meats. Oh, I'll have some of that. Oh, I know this place. It we is were here. Yeah, it's the Museo de Hamon. Lovely, lovely. The place. Ham Museum, where you can go and have a nice little drinky poo. And also some. Us, I think. But we are heading on down to Seoul. Oh, look over there. The Theo Pipi sign. I remember that from all those years ago, from the first time that I visited Madrid when I was 11 years old. Hmm. Seoul Metro Station. And look, Paul, what? over there. Look, look what I've spied. It is the symbol of Madrid. It's bear. the bear and the tree. Now, the interesting thing about the bear is, is that it has moved. It didn't used to be here. It used to be on the other side of Seoul. Oh, interesting. Yeah. And we're coming up from the back view, so all I'm seeing at the minute is a bear behind. You know, I always remember when I came here as a child, I was fascinated by this bear mm. because it is, as I say, the symbol of Madrid. You would see it on all the souvenirs, the postcards. But the other thing about the bear was it also had a plaque underneath that marked the central spot of Spain. Ah. And it was like ground zero, if you like. It was point zero to center every point? center point there, yeah, the central point to every other part of Spain. Now I'm wondering if that plaque is still there because it would be on the other side of Seoul. So we'll have a look. I'm not promising anything, but we'll, we'll go and see. And here it is, ground zero. So that's where people will stand, put their feet. Oh, here come the police, let's move in. And from that point, that is where you will be in the central point of Spain. Very good to know. And that is where the bear used to be. I guess they moved the bear so as it would have a bit more room and mm. people could sort of stand here. Uh, sometimes having too many tourist attractions in one place draws too big a crowd. So we're leaving Seoul behind us. There's a lot of police around today. There is. <laughs> Got to be careful when you're filming. Um, and we are going to head up Calle Mayor to the Plaza Mayor. And I think that is where we might find a cerveza or two, don't you? Definitely. 
Look at all these sweets. They are really, really tempting me. Oh my god. What is it? Churros over there. To take away. Should we? Hmm. I think the chocolate might just turn into like drinking chocolate. It's so hot. Yeah. You're gonna melt drinking it. I remember going up Calle de Felipe III to go to Plaza Mayor. It's right behind us. So let's take a look. What's it like being back? Yeah, it's uh, well, it's been about two and a half years. And Has um, anything it all changed? Becomes, no, no, no. It all, it's all very, very familiar once you get used to it again. Of course, it changes depending what time of year it is. The last time we were uh -huh. here, it was um, just before Christmas. So when we came to the Plaza Mayor, we saw Santa. I don't think he's going to be here today. This is a very, very... It's like a very European um, square. Very... How would you word it? It's... I'm not saying that it's medieval. It's kind of modern, but in a... In a with a modern twist or but it's a, it it's, has its old quality yeah but it's, it's used as a, as a modern event space as well you can see over here the stands and everything where they're probably either getting ready for something or something's just finished and when we last came here as i say it was just before christmas um in 2019 and there were big screens there were music events santa was here so yeah, lots of different things happening. And all around, there's little stalls you can see. And also behind those, little bars and restaurants. Lots of little bars with very, very high prices. Uh, probably. But you can just ask for a small beer rather than a large one and just uh, sort of while away the afternoon, which in our case is all the time we've got. We are at one of the bars in Plaza Mayor. I think it was actually called the Plaza Mayor Bar. And we've got two beers and there's the bill. You can see six euro. Oh wow. Very, very cheap. And uh, I think this needs to go up here first because it's so hot. Cheers. It's about 40 Celsius. So cheers everyone. Oh my god, it's delicious, it's so cold and refreshing and just what I need today of all days because it's so hot and muggy outside although the humidity isn't that bad but the heat is killer so a nice refreshing cerveza is always appreciated so cheers everyone When coming to these bars in Spain you order the beer and then they also give you a choice of either chips, olives, or anything else that they might have on the side. But in this case, I decided to choose olives because this might be considered one of my five a day. Well, we didn't want to sit out in the sun, but we've got the best of both worlds here. because we're, we're inside, but we're right at the window. So we've got the shade, and a little bit of the cool from the uh, AC in here, but also a little bit of the atmosphere from Plaza Mayor as well. So we've got a second beer, and that means more snacks. What have you got this time, Paul? Bring them up, show us here. Pork the guy pork offered rind. me pork rinds, and then there were also chips, but then I think I just wanted the pork rinds. Okay, well, try one of those and tell us what it's like. Big one. Nice and chewy. No, he basically heated it up in the microwave. Yummy. Look, Paul. Have I had too much drink or am I actually seeing a gorilla in the Plaza Mayor? 
No, I think I am actually seeing a gorilla. That is a gorilla behind us. And before we leave Plaza Mayor, this just reminds me of one time we were in Amsterdam. Now, a lot of strange things could happen in Amsterdam, but I can remember we were sitting in this restaurant and we'd had a few drinks, and we were right next to one of the canals, right? Yeah. And do you, do you remember what we saw sailing past on a boat? I don't remember. An elephant. What? Yeah, there was an elephant on a barge in Amsterdam. And there's a gorilla in Plaza Mayor in Madrid. The world's gone bonkers. We're heading to our next proper destination, but we thought we would just stop off here. Just outside the Plaza Mayor, you can find the Mercado de San Miguel. And it is a fantastic marketplace with fresh produce, little bars and cafes, We've been in there a few times before. And it's somewhere that you can just call into. It's a bit cooler, I suppose, on a, on a hot day. We don't have time to go in today, but as I say, it's just outside the Plaza Mayor and well worth a visit. Behind us is the Cathedral de Santa Maria. Is that right, Paul? Yes. I think I'm right. And just over here, next to it, is the Royal Palace. Now, we've been to both these places before. They're magnificent. The, yeah, they are magnificent. The cathedral has a crypt, which on a hot day like this can be rather cool and very welcoming. But we don't have time, unfortunately. But we do have time to have a quick look at the cathedral. So let's go. And this is the Royal Palace. Interesting music in the background. Oh, it's a traditional Spanish dance. Look, Paul. Traditional Spanish dance performed by a young man in Lycra. I think we have to go and take a look. Anyway, that's the palace over there. And that's the young man in Lycra over here. Well, I think I know where I'm heading. Let's hope we don't get a uh, copyright strike on the music, right? It's not Lycra, but he is all dressed in black. Very brave on such a hot day. Okay, well, seriously, here is a quick look at the Royal Palace, looking through the, the iron bars. This reminds me of the time we looked at Holyrood House in Edinburgh, doesn't it, Paul? It certainly does. We really enjoyed this one day trip to Spain, to Madrid, haven't we? We certainly did. Well, we do have a few more bits to show you after this outro, but we thought, while well, the sun is still shining, oh. while well, there is Spanish music playing in the background, and while we're standing at the Royal Palace, I thought this was the perfect opportunity to say a proper goodbye. And we hope you enjoyed the show, and it just goes to prove that you can go to Spain, or many other places in for Europe, one for one day. And we are staying overnight, but we do have a very early flight in the morning. So we'll say good night, bye for now, and see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much. What are you doing, Marcus? Oh, I'm subscribing to our show. It's so easy to do. All you need to do is hit the subscribe button. So please do subscribe. <laughs>Who is this? I think you have to wipe the ass and wish for good luck. Wish for good luck then. Hello, how are you? 
My mate. Oh, is it? Yeah, my mate. What are you pointing at? That's my mate's house. Oh. Rionas del Abside de la Iglesia de Nuestra. Now, hang on, hang on, hang on. He just calls it home. Okay, fine. Bye-bye. Oh, look, Marcus. Your old friend, the movie from Ali Ha. Yeah, movie. Pull the other one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is such a nice, quaint um, little t-shirt shop that makes um, really interesting t-shirts. And I did get one of, so we're queuing up to get one of these. Bear and the tree one. So this is one of the iconic images of Madrid. So yeah, so I'm gonna get this. So yeah, love this place. Well, Paul, we have come into a little bit of AC now, a little bit of cool. We've come to shopping the- Shopping therapy? A little bit of shopping therapy to finish off the day at Plene Lunia. And it's very close to the airport, which is good for us because we have a very early flight in the morning. Very so early. We shall take a little look around. I didn't think that we would end up going to a mall but you know needs must it's too hot outside so. yes and i am assured that there are really great places to eat here as well in fact we might finish off the trip with a little bit of tapas well you know what they say you can always do with a healthy poke well, if you've never been to a Spanish mall before, this is what it's like. And we're at the food department right at the top. I suppose it's similar to any that you might come across in, in the US. In the, well, even in the UK, um, that the food is always upstairs. But there's, I can see... Food court area. Yeah, I can see Burger King over there. Subway. Oh, there's a Subway. There are familiar names. Oh, look, there's a, Pop, there's a, there's a Popeyes over there. Isn't that American? Yes. But there's also like different names as well, like very sort of Spanish-centric ones. Look, they've even got an amusement arcade. Do you think that's a 2p machine or is it like 20 euro or something? 20 euro. So I believe that we are going to Casa Carmen, Carmen's house. Oh, lovely. Which apparently is very Spanish, which is exactly what we were looking for. So let's take a look. Well, this is quite a feast, isn't it? Yes, I want to eat this right now. Look at this. There's a whole mixture of tapas wow. and breads and a little bit of um, like there's Korean go go goiza as well. I think that's so Japanese. It's, yes, it's quite a combination. But we've come to Casa Carmen, Carmen's house. We're having a beer again. Yes, we are, and we're completely dehydrated. So. <laughs> Enjoy our. Well, enjoy our last bits, and we'll see you for the end of the show in a moment. Bye-bye. Ah, oh, look, there it is, CNA. Alas, it is just, just closed. There's also a pre-mark. It looks as though it's still open, but I think we'll just go to the one in Uxbridge. Well, what a fabulous time we have had in Madrid, haven't we, Paul? It certainly was a really enjoyable trip. So do you think that we could do one of these very quick trips again? Like, totally. Well, we are going to have probably about three hours sleep, so we, we better try Maybe to. four. Four if we're lucky. Yes, and we're, we're pushing it. So we've got an hour after we wake up before we get the shuttle bus to the airport. So good night. It's five to five in the morning. We are almost on the final leg of this day trip to Madrid. Join us in lighter moments, I suppose you could say, shortly. Well, I promised some light and here it is. We are now taking the shuttle train to Terminal 4S at Madrid Baracas Airport. 
and we'll be boarding an Iberia flight to head back to London Heathrow. So thanks for joining us on this day trip to Madrid and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.